Hello friends, welcome to the video tutorial of C programming and we are studying string library function. So in this video we are going to study strcmp function which is used for comparison of two string. Okay. Now when you are comparing two string definitely you are checking that which string is greater okay, or which string is smaller or whether both the strings are equal or not or unequal. So according to that it will returns you the result and then you will decide what you want to do. So if your first string is greater it will return positive value and if second string is greater it will returns negative value and if both the strings are equal it will return 0. Okay. So I hope you understand this. Now how these values will return we are going to see it by example. Now consider that I have this two string S1 and S2. Again for better understanding I initialize both these strings. Here I did not specify any size because according to my initialization size will be allocated. As you can see here my string will be represented like this in my array. Now how comparison will be done? Basically it will check your string element by element means element at each position will be checked okay and it will definitely start from 0th position. So is both the characters same? Yes. So it will forward okay then again next two characters will be correct uh, compared. So here also both the characters are what same. Now when it reach to the next position then it saw the difference okay in the first string there is u whereas in the second string there is a. So what happened here? The difference of u and a will be taken. Okay. Difference of u and a will be taken. Now in C we know that characters are represented as what? ASCII value. We already studied this part while studying the character data type. So your characters are represented by what? ASCII value. And ASCII values are nothing but a numbers. ASCII values are nothing but what? Numbers. So that's why you can take a difference of this two. Okay. So ASCII value of small a is 97 and small z is 122. Whereas the ASCII value of capital A is 65 and ASCII value of capital Z is 90. So these values are con consecutive. Okay, ASCII value of B will be 98, ASCII value of C will be 99 and so on. Okay, so as you can see here, definitely the ASCII value of E is going to be bigger than ASCII value of A. Okay, so what difference you will get? You will get positive difference. Okay, means if you, are, if you define this string as a first, first string or first parameter to your compare function, so this string will be considered as greater and this string will be considered as smaller. Remember this thing that comparison is not done on the length of your string. Comparison will be done character by character and where is a where there is a differentiating character the difference between two character will be taken and then that difference will be returned by the function. Now that difference can be positive can be negative or can be zero if both the strings are blue okay so there is no differentiating part right so in that case zero will be written i hope you understand this okay so let us see the calling part here so let me declare one variable that will collect the result so c is equal to strcmp s1 comma s2 s1 comma s2 okay now if i am passing s1 first and s2 later in that case the first string will be considered as greater because as we saw here the character at second position of both the string okay is differentiating character whereas the character at second position of first string is greater because its ascii value is greater as i told you here okay therefore first string will be considered as greater and you will get positive value in variable c okay obviously when you take a difference of this ascii value of u is greater and the ascii value of a is smaller so definitely you will get a positive answer 
okay after that what you can say what, what you can do you can check the value of c if it is positive means if it is greater than 0 what you will say you will say printf percent s is greater and in place of percent s we will print the s1 now what can be the second condition you have to check whether c is negative if c is less than 0 if c is less than 0 means its answer is negative and it itself means that s2 is greater now s1 is smaller so here i will say print f percent s is greater and here i will say s2 and if the answer is not positive not negative then definitely it is zero and it means your both these strings are equal your both these strings are what equal so it definitely ups to you whether you want to check a greater string or smaller string okay i will again repeat that comparison is not done on the length of the characters okay comparison will be done element by element and when there is a difference in your characters okay at corresponding position the difference between that character will be taken and since characters are represented as ascii value will get a output in a number which is positive negative or zero okay now let us understand one more example so let us consider this example I have two strings S1 and S2. I initialize S1 with sun whereas S2 with sunny. Okay. Now which string is greater? Okay. Definitely you say S2 is greater. Okay. But again, but again do not determine it by its length. Okay. Let us check each and every character. Both S and S are same. Okay. Uh, just consider that this both S are in capital case. And as I already told you the ASCII value of capital case and lower case are different and if you look at here the ASCII value of capital case is less than the ASCII value of small case okay that's why capital case strings will be considered as smaller whereas the string having lower case will be considered as greater okay now let us switch to our example so here both s and s are in capital case so this is same then it will switch here again u u both are same again it will switch here here also all the character both the characters are same now it will come here okay here at the position 3 it got differentiating characters the first string character is null whereas second string character is n so here what happened the difference between null character and n character will be taken okay and the ascii value of null character ascii value of null character is zero remember this thing ascii value of null character is what zero and definitely the ascii value of n will be definitely uh, which is greater okay because i just told you that ascii value of small letter is range from 97 to 122 so definitely the ascii value of n is definitely what greater so what output you will get zero minus some ascii value so definitely that output will be what negative that output will be what negative because what we provided here we provided first string as a s1 whereas second string as what s2 so s2 will be considered as greater since it is returning negative value so here we will get negative value okay so i hope you understand this and remember this thing that strcmp function compares the string in case sensitive way so it is case sensitive comparison it is not case insensitive comparison means here assume that if your son is in lower case whereas sunny 
in capital case this s is a capital and this s is what small so here only it will found the difference here only it will found the difference and it will never check rest of the part so always remember that it is case sensitive comparison now suppose you want to do case insensitive comparison you want to do case insensitive comparison so for that str cmp i is used what is used str cmp i now what this str cmp i does it will perform case in insensitive comparison what it does case in sensitive comparison okay whereas str cmp is case sensitive comparison so you do not want to consider the case we just want to check whether the characters are same or not if there is a differentiating character then only it will be considered as different if there is different case but same character then it will be considered as same okay so in that case you can go for str cmpi the syntax is again exactly same just instead of str cmp you have to say str cmpi again it is going to return positive negative and zero value okay so i hope you understand this Uh, try it yourself str cmpi okay and in next video we will see one more library function related to this string thank you